second meeting of the month, month of March. We have a, an abbreviated staff with us this evening, but we will get through the business of the township. Um, two trustees, fire chief, fiscal officer are here, so we will move along. I'll call the meeting to order and entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of March 2nd, 2020. I so move. There's a motion. I will second that motion. Is there any further discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Thank you. I will now entertain a motion to approve payment of bills in the amount of $58,953.33. I so move. I'll second. That's broken down. Uh, general fund $14,5294, fire fund $17. 8670, Cemetery Fund 159.32, EMS billing 77.8491, Road Bridge 4103, 68, and the Capital Project $28,392.78. Is there any further discussion regarding payment of these accounts? Hearing none, maybe we will please. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Mr. Hoster? Yes. All right, we will dispense with correspondence for this evening. Uh, we will go to the fire department report and chief if just either hit the highlights and then at that point I would like you and uh, Mr. Hollister to give a brief report on the status of this newly formed What's the name of it? I guess the Village leadership group. We really don't have a name. Is there one is there a name on the bottom of your poster there? I thought I'd see something. Okay. We need a contest. It's All right. Yeah. Working together for you that lists us. There, there you go. go. <laughs> uh, well, uh, abbreviated since last meeting 34 EMS incidents, uh, nine fire incidents, uh, two fire safety inspections, but then we canceled all fire safety inspections until we're done with this crisis. Um, I've copied you guys in the memos of what we're doing efforts wise, department, to keep our guys. Patient safe. Um, added some new things today. We're going to no visitors here at the fire station other than this room in your office. Um, anyone who's going to be wandering around uh, in the station, our guys are doing temperature checks every morning when they come on shift, as recommended by uh, multiple different places. Uh, anyone with temperature, then we'll send them home. Uh, we urge you guys to, you know, stay home as much as possible, and Margaret to telecommute or work from home whenever possible just just in case until this all passes um, we haven't seen any increase in activity just yet but uh, Danny and I are working opposite shifts to make sure that there's always one of us mm -hmm. alive I guess <laughs> um, kind of the world family we can't travel the same place mm -hmm. uh, fire chiefs have a meeting we had a meeting we're supposed to have a meeting on Wednesday morning um, with EMA and public health so Start working on plans. We're well, not start working, but finalize plans for what happens. Who's going to help each other? Uh, but now you can't have meetings with more than ten people. Um, so Roseanne's working on a conference call or video conference or something like that. So, um, oh, and then I've got three volunteer applications for your approval. Great. Uh, firefighter EMT Abigail Evans, who is the wife of current semi-part-time guy Ryan Evans. Um, she looks so nurse. And then uh, two Yellow Springs residents who we netted after $2,700 in expenses. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Ian Bentonhouse and Peter Main. Mm -hmm. Neither of them are certified, but they're here, so that's important. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, they passed, they went through all of our hoops and even have clean driving records. So. Uh, are you asking for a motion to? So I would like to motion. I forgot to make a resolution for you guys like I normally do. Yeah. I'm not sure if you're going to Oh, yeah, yes, I would like a motion. Whereas, whereas, I so move. Okay. It'll be resolution Set. number 20, 20-14. 20-14, and I will 20, 20. type one up for So the three 20, 20 individuals that you've already read is what I intended to be accepted. Thank you. I talked with uh, Danny for a while after our construction meeting last week, and just <coughs> for information and, and hopefully you will confirm that I asked him uh, uh, sort of our preparedness level for, for this, whatever we're going to call it, 
uh, and he felt that our equipment was in good shape, nothing was uh, out of service, and uh, or planned on being out of service soon, which is good. Yep. Uh, he felt we had a, a pretty good supply of materials, at least ones that we can obtain. There were some, uh, what is it, the, the surgical masks that are almost impossible to get, yeah. the 91 or something. And 95s. Yeah. And, uh, and that, uh, to this point anyway, and I'm sure that's always changing, our personnel is uh, up to a level that is acceptable for us to you know, maintain our level of service, and that they're all in relatively good health mm -hmm. uh, yeah. on their own. Yeah, I mean, we're, um, staff-wise, I mean, you know, obviously there's still short of people, but the people we have are all present, accounted mm -hmm. for, uh, we're doing everything we can to keep them healthy, we've canceled drills, um, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Afford any quarantines because that's going to totally destroy. So that's what we're meeting about on Wednesday to figure out how we're all going to work together if and when that happens. Um, yeah, supply wise, the county's working hard to, with the state to try and get us everything else that we need. But right now we have the supplies that we we need. Given current operations, if things get crazy, you know, um, Roseanne's working hard on our behalf to get more in than we So and everyone's trained. Yeah, I want to do so. Great. We're ready. Okay, thank you. The last thing I wanted to uh... wait. We didn't. We didn't vote on the resolution. Oh, do you, do you want to keep talking? Oh, about right. It? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, May we vote, please? Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Mutcher. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Hollister. Yes. And that's resolution fourteen. Yes. Twenty fourteen. Yes. All right. I will type one up and leave it in there for you guys to okay. do whatever it is you do. Sign it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even do that. Yeah. All right, so could we take just a couple of minutes and would you and uh, Trustee Hollister discuss this organization that you met with or formed with last week? Sure. Uh, well, we met with 25, 30 people? <coughs> yeah, 25, 30 people. Uh, and this was convened by the community company. Yeah, so it's Lisa Abel and Jenna Marie Cox. Mm -hmm. And it was basically to identify gaps. Um, in services, I was actually very impressed to hear a lot of the planning has already been, you know, the schools were ahead of the curve, I thought, and senior center as well. Uh, they identified areas that need help and in the community, and the community foundation, I believe, is still spearheading all that. Um, so it was, I mean, I thought it was actually very well, very productive, and now the group has a video call or conference call every weekday, right? Every Every day. Every day. Even Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay, no, I thought that was a mistake. But <laughs> uh, at, at four, um, I imagine it, it will narrow down the number of people who really take part. Uh, and that's convened by our village manager. And as an expansion of that, they're having, well, Colin will be one of the people featured at. Uh, a virtual town hall meeting tonight, and apparently they'll be they're going to try having every when Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night at seven. And this will be people can call in, uh, but primarily a vehicle for uh, keeping up public information that's specific to Yellow Springs. Uh, and that very likely there'll come, there'll be times when there's nothing. They just say, hello, it's good weather, no news. Uh, but right now things are changing rapidly in terms of the, the rules. And is this in response to the, the virus, or is this just something Excuse me, yes. Yes. Yeah, so. I, I made that assumption. But I, well, I, I think we can It's COVID-19. Okay. In response to COVID-19. Okay. Uh, and uh, this morning there was also a meeting specifically about communication and a woman from the county health district uh, at the end of the session made a comment. She said, I'm very impressed with what's going on in Yellow Springs, how quickly different groups got together. This includes churches. And, mm -hmm. uh, and we are now urging other communities in Green County to 
do similar things. Uh, and then the newspaper will be, the, the community foundation is paying for the newspaper to be mailed to everyone in the 45387. And there'll be an insert uh, with, this is just a black and white copy of it, but uh, with websites and phone numbers uh, to follow over time. And then the Community Foundation is uh, soliciting contributions for a community support fund. And they, apparently there are a few donors who are waiting to find out what the estimate of needs over the next couple of months may add up to. Anything else you want to add to that? Nope. Okay. Thank uh, you very much. Sounds very encouraging. Mm -hmm. um, let's switch gears and offer the floor to our guest. Krista. Great. Um, let's see here. Two different pages. We have, we have copies. Oh, have copies. oh, you guys have them. Oh, that's yeah. great. Okay. No, we don't want to touch yours. Oh, I see. All right. I got it. Ah, that's why I was supposed to email it to you. I just thought you wanted to study up. But, okay, got it. Um, we are uh, basically about a year into our Jacoby partnership. Mm -hmm. uh, the federal government's been extremely slow in starting it up. Um, there's a lot of really good farm bill programs, and there's increasingly less staff at the Natural Resource Conservation Service. So um, we uh, have just pretty much done, gone ahead and done a lot of outreach with the landowners in the area. Um, it's in the, our target area. Um, in the partnership is 26,000 acres, which are comprised of Miami Township and a little bit into Bath and a little bit into Zenia. And so we're aiming to uh, help uh, farmers and leaders make the connections with conservation programs that are funded through the Environmental Quality Improvement uh, Program uh, out of NRCS. Um, and we uh, also have got, um, in addition to funds for easements, a captive pot of money for equip for that target area. There's 80 some landowners in the area that have farms or natural properties that are of a size that it would be appropriate to perhaps put an easement on them if they're not already preserved or um, certainly with, with those in a, a slightly larger number to, to, to do a conservation um, uh, or, or to do conservation practices on their, on their land. So this is really nice. Our land, existing landowners with conservation easements have uh, pretty much welcomed this opportunity. Um, and we evidently have 13 either landowners or farmers who have um, made application for cover crops, grass waterways, um, you know, various kinds of, of practices that uh, in theory, will improve uh, water quality. One of the things that's been interesting that we've learned about our particular target area is that there's a higher than usual proportion of non-farmer landowners. And so that means that those people often, they a lot of times this has been their family land traditionally, but they haven't farmed in a generation or two. So they're not really very familiar with those conservation programs in the farm bill. Mm -hmm. And um, a farmer who's renting um, is um, going to have to do some extra work, for example, to do cover crops. Um, it's uh, last season was like a great example where you know it just was hard to get a crop in at all. Mm -hmm. You know, let alone to harvest a cover or, or crimp a cover crop or kill the cover crop, plant new, new um, uh, cash crop, you know, for the year, mm -hmm. harvest it and plant something else. Mm -hmm. um, however, uh, having access to monies to do that multiple years um, should be helpful, you know, to, to make it more comfortable for people. 
but there's also um, just a lot of um, interaction which has been generated because of the educational outreach we've done between those landowners and their farmers. And um, what happens if you're not farming the land is you kind of get out of touch with exactly what's going on with it, what it takes to take good care of it. Um, and so we, I, I am thrilled that we have 13 applications for one or more conservation practices in the area. I think we're going to have some really good demonstrations to, to show other landowners in our target area, but also in the whole area to come some interest works with. You know? mm -hmm. so, so we're really, really excited about that. There's also a research aspect of it um, that is um, beginning to, to form. Uh, Central State just getting its legs as a land grant, mm -hmm. and um, they have a very enthusiastic uh, researcher who is assigned to us, and he and one of our landowners who has applied for funding for cover crops uh, have already done soil testing as baseline on this mm -hmm. property, and I'm just so happy about that. Um, so we're going to be reaching out to the other landowners who are also <coughs> applying, or, or farmers, and trying to uh, uh, encourage them that they want to have that benefit of being able to see measurable outcomes. That, that would be a really nice uh, piece to add, I think, to what we're doing. Um, we um, had four properties that uh, wanted to participate in this. The last time I probably saw you guys, I was trying to get uh, resolutions and support. Um, we will probably again apply for both federal and state monies for the three that we have this year. And yeah, if you had a chance to look at the map, that's great because um, it's it's interesting. These are not the village's priorities really, but they really have been the long-term priorities in terms of the country common and and I think. Uh, you know, a pretty good mesh with the, the program that was in place for many years with the, with the township. The, the black and white version of the map. Oh, yeah, darn! Oh, shoot! Well, I know I didn't have, you know, I couldn't do it. Probably. I mean, I, I, oh, I know where yes. Jim and Cammy's piece is, but the other two I okay, don't. Okay, here I have. It's, it was online, you could see it. Wait, yeah, yeah. I thought I had Did it. we have a color copy? Um, no. And, yeah. Okay, and I don't know the color copy. I saw, you can see it online. I thought I had one. The email? Yeah, I thought I saw it too. Um, just to say where they are. Uh, Cami and Jim Brady, Cami is the daughter of the Dells. Mm -hmm. And so that's on Ruth Selby. So it's surrounding the, the original Dell five acre easement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's, uh, I believe it's, uh, oh, maybe she said the acres, yeah, three to six, I'm going to say about 40 acres. And um, so that's, that's exciting because that's kind of completing that, that country common goal, anyhow, which is cool. And they're um, in that area of a lot of preserve land. Um, Debbie Alexander's on the other side of the road. Uh, the Boy Scout camp, I'm not sure if it abuts them, I'm not looking at a map, but it's it's right in that zone. Um, so um, so that's good. Don Macucci is off of uh, Grinnell Road. Um, he's uh, pretty far uh, south on the road before you get to Clifton. So and it's, it's on the it's south. It's all along. Side. Uh, in a sense, the the back of Grinnell Circle. Yeah, I think that's about so right. Yeah. So Grinnell Circle will now be, except for the four million dollar residence that's for sale, will be surrounded by either, well, by easements. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty Because there's the Glen and Camp Green. Nice, nice thing for them. And this is, um, I think there's at least one place where they're contiguous to the Glen and. Um, it's, I don't think it's a, the, the absolute best piece of farm ground in the world, but for conservation values, it's, it is important. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is something that the Makuchis have been talking about for a long time, and so, so they want to move ahead on that. And then the art leaves, I believe, are kind of at the northeastern edge of sort of the Envision Greenbelt mm -hmm. properties. So, um, 
again, um, I think just the frequency of communications about this and um, the idea that we really do have a captive pool of money so you're not in competition with the whole rest of Green Clark County is, has raised people's awareness. And so we've had some of these, most of these people we've had on our mailing list for a long time, but we haven't necessarily, you know, heard from them. <coughs> You spoke of this not fitting the village's priorities. That is, you're, you're still talking to some people in the Jacoby. Oh, uh, we Jacobi are, tree. we are, yeah, yeah, and we we've been trying to uh, figure out everything we can about you know what sort of where they're at in terms of their land, and we are actually in a position, particularly for those properties, to. Um, you know, potentially be able to pay the whole easement value, the mm -hmm. raise easement value. It can't be more than that. But um, it's, and, it, and we actually also have access to restoration monies. I mean, there's like at least one farm that um, we could do stream restoration on, <coughs> sort of similar to what they're doing on the area. Yeah. Yeah. You know? um, so I don't know if we'll have that opportunity or not, but it's, you know, the theory is you have this concentrated opportunity and you really try to make the most of it um, while, we, while we have the resources. Had you tried making inroads into the, uh, I just noticed last weekend, into the 100 acre property on SNP Road that's for sale? Uh, no, I, I'm trying to think of, I'm sure that they're on our mailing list. Um, I, I don't know if we, um, we actually hear from people that want to buy for conservation purposes from time to time. So I'll check if we have um, let those potential conservation buyers know. Mm -hmm. We usually have six or so, yeah. you know, that mm -hmm. are interested, so I'll definitely check on that. Okay, so back to this one. I guess we need a resolution number, or is it 15? 15. Or? Okay. I would move adoption of uh, the resolution that we've been presented uh, maybe I'll just read the first sentence or should I read the whole thing uh, whatever you wish a resolution to the extent permitted by law authorizing participation in Ohio local agricultural easement purchase program and the rest has already been described. <laughs> okay, so we'll just throw blah 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 in there, and uh, and Mr. Mutcher seconded the resolution. Is there any further discussion regarding this resolution? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Krista. We'll clean this up and get it to you. Okay. Great. Uh, I appreciate your all your work and coming down to see us this, this evening. Oh well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, it, I gotta say, it, you know, it's a weird, weird time right now. But um, I do think, in the long run, all the farmland we're preserving and the work on water quality we're doing is like really, really important because mm -hmm. the world kind of gets smaller. And <laughs> it's like, mm, grow your own food. Right. Gonna have to do it as a cow. Let <laughs> me <laughs> exactly. <gonna> get hungry. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. Take care. Well. You too. Yeah. So I think it was in the email, and so it'll be printed out on the, um, on your, on yeah, the, yeah. Okay. it'll be a color. Okay. That's where I got those. Um. So, so the next resolution, I don't know if you're going out of sequence, is it, is it 16? Mm -hmm. what, no, what, what's the next resolution? So you know what yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, no, yeah, go ahead and do 16, yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay, so we have a, uh, resolution before us. Don, would you like to explain what this one is? Yes. Uh, at the last meeting in our correspondence, there was a letter from the Little Miami Conservancy. It used to be known as Little Miami Incorporated. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll just, it's not a very long resolution. I'll, this is in response to their request for support. We know how grant resolution of support. Uh, resolution 20 2016 whereas the Miami Township land use plan endorses protection of riparian corridors and supports the national and state scenic river status of the Little Miami River whereas the Board of Trustees received notice of the Little Miami Conservancy application for a clean Ohio 
green space grant for purchase of a Little Miami Riverfront parcel currently owned by Matthew O. Diggs Jr. and Joan Townsend. I'll skip the all the numbers of the parcel ID. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of Miami Township, Greene County, supports the above application. Are you moving for adoption? I move adoption of this resolution. Okay, I'll second that motion. Is there any further discussion regarding resolution uh, 2016? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. Okay, I guess we'll clean that one up and forward it to the LMI, which isn't LMI anymore. <laughs> um, I think the last thing that we're going to do this afternoon is resolution 2013, 2013, and Margaret, this would be your resolution. Oh, it is. And, um, and uh, it says, whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize an amendment to the following appropriations of the fire fund, increased workers' compensation by $1,900, the EMS billing, it's it's lit, it says increase by twenty eight thousand um, dollars, and I want to explain this. Um, when we propose when I when we propose our you know we had our proposed amendments I mean um, appropriations, that's when I took um, I added that that line item to the EMS billing to help pay for the the volunteers reimbursements. Because uh, basically, because the EMS building had a little more cash flow, and then you know, to take some of the pressure off of the twenty one ninety one. So I did that in the temporary mode, and then as I was, then you have to go back in, and you you have to cancel all the the life certificates and re-enter all of our numbers for permanent for the year. Right. Now, when I did that, I got down to um, that particular line item, and you can't. I had to have done it before, added it, whatever, it was very confusing. Anyway, it wouldn't let me do it, wouldn't let me add that in there, I had to go back and do it. And so anyway, let's see. anyway, that's why it's there now, even though we already have, have the author is an appropriation and temporary, you know, our permanent appropriations, I had to add the line item in, so you wouldn't, I didn't like to do it this way. Sorry for the explanation, but, you know, this job gets complicated. Is there and, a motion to approve resolution 2013? Yes, uh, I so move. I'll second that motion. Any further discussion regarding this motion? Hearing none, may we vote please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Yeah, and that's enough. <laughs> uh, enough for this or enough, enough for, for, me. for the fiscal officer report? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any further business to come before the board? John? Uh, just to make reference to special meeting this coming week of the Yellow Springs Development Corporation, mm -hmm. uh, at which there will be consideration uh, of purchase from the township of this building. Mm -hmm. And I won't be able to participate in the executive session, but I will wait and see how it, what we hear out of that and communicate that immediately. Okay. Um, Purchasing this building, did you say? Mm -hmm. And the land. And, uh, so this is negotiated, and this is, it's not like they're going to vote and we sign right. the deed. Uh, this is the first formal step mm -hmm. in uh, what hopefully will be a transfer and of money and land. We'll have to play it by ear to see whether we would have to uh, have a special session and, uh, you know, of the board in order to go into executive session to discuss what they have proposed and or, you know, because as we can't do that just willy nilly. So we'll see, we'll see what comes out of Wednesday, I guess. I don't want to put the cart before the horse. The meeting's at noon. Okay. Anything else? Here, no, no, I'll declare the meeting adjourned. Declare it. Declare. Well, I declare. <laughs> By declaration.